the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace for Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Coming together as God's family, with confidence, let us ask the Father's forgiveness, for he is full of gentleness and compassion. I confess. To God and to my brothers and sisters, that I have great sin in my thoughts and my words, in what I have done, in what I have written, through my faults, through my faults, through my most grievous faults. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary of the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us for lasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Show favor, O Lord, to your servants, and mercifully increase the gifts of your grace that made favor in faith made favor in hope, faith, and charity, they may be ever watchful in keeping your commands. We ask this through Christ our Lord. A reading from the book of Exodus. In those days, Moses stretched out his hand over the sea, and the Lord drove the sea back by a strong east wind all night, and made the sea dry land, and the waters were divided. And the sons of Israel went into the midst of the sea on a dry land, the waters being a wall to them on their right hand and on their left. The Egyptians pursued and went in after them into the midst of the sea. All Pharaoh's horses, his chariots, and his horsemen. And in the morning watch, the Lord, in the pillar of fire and of cloud, looked down upon the host of the Egyptians and discomfited them, and discomfited the host of the Egyptians, clogging their chariot wheels so that they may drove heavily. And the Egyptians said, let us flee from before Israel, for the Lord fights for them against the Egyptians. Then the Lord said to Moses, Stretch out your hand over the sea, that the water may come back upon the Egyptians, upon their chariots, and upon their horsemen. So Moses stretched forth his hand over the sea, and the sea returned to its usual flow. When the morning appeared, and the Egyptians fled into it, and the Lord rooted the Egyptians in the midst of the sea. The waters returned and covered the chariots, and the horsemen and all the host of Pharaoh that had followed them into the sea. Not so much as one of them remained. But the sons of Israel walked on dry ground through the sea, the waters being a wall to them on their right hand and on their left. Thus the Lord saved Israel that day from the hand of the Egyptians, and Israel saw the Egyptians dead upon the seashore. And Israel saw the great work which the Lord did against the Egyptians, and the people feared the Lord and they believed in the Lord and in his servant Moses. Then Moses and the sons of Israel sang this song to the Lord, saying, 
I will sing to the Lord, for he has triumphed gloriously. The horse and his rider he has thrown into the sea. The word of the Lord. I will sing to the Lord, for he has triumphed gloriously. I will sing to the Lord, for he has triumphed gloriously. At the blast of your nostrils, the waters piled up, the floods stood up in a heap, the deeps congealed in the heart of the sea. The enemy said, I will pursue, I will overtake. I will divide the spoil. My desire shall have its fill of them. I will draw my sword. My hand shall destroy them. I will sing to the Lord, for he has triumphed gloriously. You blew with your wind. The sea covered them. They sank as lead in the mighty waters. You stretched out your right hand. The earth swallowed them. I will sing to the Lord, for he has triumphed gloriously. You will bring them in and plant them on your own mountain, the place, O Lord, which you have made for your abode, the sanctuary, O Lord, which your hands have established. I will sing to the Lord, for he has triumphed gloriously. loves me, he will keep my word, says the Lord, and my father will love him, and we will come to him. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. At that time, while Jesus was speaking to the people, behold, his mother and his brethren stood outside asking to speak to him. But he replied to the man who told him, Who is my mother and who are my brethren? And stretching out his hand towards his disciples, he said, here are my mother and my brethren. Whoever does the will of my Father in heaven is my brother and sister and mother. The Gospel of the Lord. My dear brothers and sisters, today is the Tuesday of the 16th week of the ordinary time. And the theme of our reflection today is discipleship as belonging to the family of Jesus. Normally a family is a group of one or more parents who are living together with the children or who have a common ancestry. And today in the gospel, we are hearing Jesus, his parents came and his brethren to look for him and they asked to speak to him. He replied to the person who asked, to, who asked him that who are my brethren, who is my mother and who are my brothers. Does it mean that Jesus was belittling or denying his mother? No, instead he was raising his mother higher. Why? Because Mary was the first disciple of the word. He was the first one to say yes to bear Jesus Christ. And 
highest did not only stop in bearing Jesus. At a time when a single mother like Mary, a widow for that matter, needed to stay with his son, look at his eye and see if he's hungry, prepare for him the best meal, check on his clothes and wash for him, just as an ordinary woman would do, an ordinary mother would do for, his, for her only son. That is the time when she had to respond more to the will of God by letting Jesus go, leave her family, to go and do the will of God. And with this, many parents have to bear with such a situation. Even Jesus did not like it, I'm sure, to leave her mother alone at home so that she could, he could go and preach. I know of a priest in Uganda. He joined a, he's in a congregation where they have holidays every after 10 years. He came to see his mother at home. And while he was leaving for the Philippines, his mother was already 82. The mother asked my son, when you come back after 10 years, will you still find me? Or will I see you again? My dear brothers and sisters, there comes a time in life when we have to say bye, when we have to sacrifice our own blood relatives, our own family members to do the will of God. And so at this moment, my dear brothers and sisters, let us pray for all the parents who have sacrificed their children to the will of God, and also those who have left their homes their families to respond to the call of God, that God may fill the gaps that they have left behind their homes. Let us bless the Lord. My sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May 
O God, who in the one perfect sacrifice brought to completion varied offerings of the law, as I will pray this sacrifice from your faithful servants, and make it holy as you bless the gifts of Abel, so that what each has offered to the honor of your majesty may benefit the salvation of all. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let's give thanks to the Lord our God. It is true, right, and just our duty and our salvation. I was never to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, and our God. For although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving is to serve your gift. Since our praise add nothing to your greatness, but profit us for our salvation through Christ our Lord. And so, in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy we proclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created really gives you praise for through your Son, Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and work of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. I never cease to gather and pray to yourself, so that from rising of the sun to setting a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, which should make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, Lord Jesus Christ, and whose command will celebrate these mysteries. For oh, on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread and gave you a time, said the blessing, broke the bread, gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once and giving you thanks, he said the blessing. Give the disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this chalice of my blood, the blood of the new eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, and for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, O Lord, I celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous restoration and ascension to heaven. As we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you wish to us with yourself. Grant that we are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with this Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her blessed spouse, with the blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose course and intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm with faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, your servant Francis our Pope, and David Kamau, apostolic administrator, the other bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family, whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good.
Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Jesus, to us call God Father, and so we have the courage to see our Father. Deliver us, Lord, we pray for every vocation we grant peace in our day, that by the help of your mercy, we be us free from sin and save from all distress, as we are with the blessed hope the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, to the apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. We not on our sins, but in the favor of your church, and graciously grant her peace and in accordance with your will, who lives and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those caught of the Lamb.
graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those who have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Almighty God bless the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thank you. Thank you.